What's going on, guys? So today on this Shoki Reviews, we're going to take a look at the old HG RX 77-2 gun cannon. This is the, uh, I almost said origin gun cannon, I meant to say revive gun cannon. And uh, as far as I know, this is one of the very first revive kits there was. There was this one, the Grandpa and the Gion were all uh, in the early releases and I know this one came before the grandpa just like technically it did in actual Gundam because as we've learned before the gun cannon was kind of the jumping off stage to get a Gundam to happen but either way so here on the box we have some really nice artwork going on right here of one gun cannon going like this with a gun and then you got another one back there actually shooting with the shoulder cannons you got one back there shooting with the beam cannon I don't know not a machine gun <laughs> But you got all kinds of nice uh, explosions and fighting and stuff and things like that. You got number 108, got nice weathering on there. And the EFSF, prototype middle range support mobile suit. Yay! So of course the gym was not a thing yet, so the gun cannon came before that. You got the old school Gundam logo there. That's awesome. And then you got Bandai 2015. Long, long time ago. And we come to the bottom, you've got some stuff there that I can't really read right there. You got HGUC001. So, and then another, I'm guessing that's talking about how, like, way back when it was the first uh, HG kit, and then they did it again, I guess, at 190. I'm not entirely certain. Can't read that. But you got obligatory kind of front and rear shot there. You've got action, where he's standing on a thing, doing a thing, and then you've got hand. And then he's kind of doing a belly crawl, and then you come over here, and he's kneeling with the gun. That's pretty cool. Weapon, yay! You got markings. You got 108, 109, 203. Uh, I'm guessing that corresponds to the first couple three uh, gun cannons. I don't know. Gimmick. <laughs> the arms that can move and the gun that can move and the knees. Those are all gimmicks. And you got number 190 right there. Oh, that's why I said 190. I'm stupid. So it was number one and then again number 190. I'm dumb. HGUC. Bandai that RX 77-2 gun cannon, Bandai. And you come over to the final side here, and you got a quick little read up there. So it's 100, or I'm, I can't read. 17.5 meters tall, 51.0 tons, uh, loaded up 70 tons, and there's its power output and all the good stuff like that. There's your weapon, 244 millimeter cannon, 60 millimeter cannon, and nice little read up there. But it's in Japanese, so I can't really read that. So you guys can. Uh, Figure that out on your own. And you've got a warning right there that says, Do not stick a gun cannon in a three-year-old's face because it's old and that's weird. And come over there, you got the little guy with the toilet, the PS and the PE. 1,200 yen, so really affordable kit. And it was illustrated by one of my favorite artists, of course, Morshida Naochika. It's an old gun cannon. It still gets turned upside down. Alright, let's go ahead and get to it. Guys, there we got the gun cannon. Looking pretty cool and very red. I like how they have very solid colors at the beginning. And I did put this together uh, pretty much on a live stream as a nerdcast slash build day kind of thing a couple Fridays ago. And it came out very nice. It's a very simple kit. Um, and given that I've done gun cannons before, this is actually fairly different. There's a couple similarities, but... Other than that, it's actually very different from the ones I've built before. But it looks pretty cool. you got the red all in here. You've got some actual nice yellow parts there, along with some really bad panel lining. But that's what happens when your panel line marker is dead and you don't know it. you got some cool details up here, like the hat. got to love the hat. And a nice clear visor. The, the sun. Like the sun. The sun that's in my bedroom. Uh, can't see anything there. <laughs> Uh, one detail that I normally would do, but I did not do on this time, was actually chrome the back of the visor there. So I didn't do it. I went for a very simple, quick build. And it was enjoyable. I'm not going to lie. It was, it was kind of fun to get back to doing just this kind of stuff. No need to customize, nothing like that. Nothing super heavy duty going on. Unlike the Origin ones that I've built that have a buttload of stickers, this has like nothing. I mean, like, I, I, yeah, it has no stickers that I can recall, like at all. So, because there's no, there's no eyes to worry about. There's no other side details that need to be picked out. So, hey, 
it's pretty cool. I mean, even accessories wise, it's simple. You get hands. You just get two hands. That's it. Nice little expressive hands or for reaching up and over the shoulder cannon. That's why they do have a thing. I guess technically you can use them while doing the kind of laying down thing. I always found it funny that they would do this where it would be like, it, could, it would point the cannon manually to shoot. I find that quite funny. Just like, <laughs> shoot that thing over there. Uh, I like the fact that these are individually articulated. It's a little weird to plug in from the top. I got used to the ones that plug in very differently on the later gun cannons, but still pretty neat. They can point pretty much straight up like that. You just got to watch out for where your head is. It does have antenna, but they're disappearing in the uh, background there with my uh, white balance cranked way up. Uh, they do kind of get in the way of the head rotating. Just there's not much that's going to happen there, but it's got a nice turkey neck there. So a hinge at the bottom and then a ball joint up at the top, which is always a good thing. You've got captured <clears throat> butterfly joint there in the shoulders. And then you can pop that right out, which is something I always do on these. It does rotate all the way around. Bicep rotation. Double jointed elbow. Looks really good. Of course, the wrist is just a ball joint. And if you do it wrong, you can screw up the high teacher. So, hi. Hi, Amaru. Pick that up just a little bit. And you do get the ab crunch. So, it's a really interesting... A compound joint on the inside so they did use that in a later design I like that and I think that's one of the main things of the revive line you do get nice rotation here at the waist but it does hit on some stuff you do get side skirts that can move even though it looks really boxy like they're not gonna go anywhere they do move up just a little bit your front skirts you do want to go ahead and split and then once you do you can kick all the way forward nice and neat can't really go <clears throat> anywhere backwards you do get the shimmy shimmy the sideways shimmy and then you do do you get the turn i don't think you get the turn all right but you get nice jean claude thigh rotation that can go all the way around but why would you Double jointed knee that's surprisingly not limited by the fact that the uh, armor is just right up against the bottom. So you get really beautiful kick. And you get some very sloppy panel lining down here on the ankle. So you got a ball joint way up here that allows you to kick forward. Kicks back just a little bit and a pivot at the toe. And it doesn't really go side to side, but that's okay. Let's see if I can clean that up without taking it apart. So, it's nice. It can stand very nicely. It's just, it's a beautiful older kit. And, I mean, it's not super old. It's number 190. So, I mean, it's it's just good, I guess. There's just no other way to explain it. It's just good. Now, we do have his rifle here. It's a pretty cool design. Very different from some of the other things, especially like the machine guns we get later on. And this part kind of folds out. I don't know if that's just so you can see it at a new angle with the scope, so to speak, or the sensor, or whatever the heck. But it does do that. And the hand clamps on super nicely. Can't really ask for anything better on that. It's actually so good, it doesn't want to come off. That's okay. There's no weapon storage anyway, so who cares. I do wish they'd given us a, like a green sticker for it right in there, but beggars, choosers, and all that. I'm going to go ahead and put the other expressive hand in here. I will say that for these ball joints, it's a little looser of a fit. So that's somewhat, you know, boring. The tanks are pretty neat. See, I don't know if these are just for vents or if that's actually meant to be a little bit of a thruster. But you definitely have thrusters there. And the backpack just plugs on very simply. I like that. We seem to believe that they really should have done more with this as a basis. Now, I'm fairly certain that the Origin ones got to have some basis from this because they're all fairly similar. So let's go ahead and bring out those. There's the white one and then the blue one. So, yeah, I mean, overall, they're they're very, very similar. The feet, the feet are updated. There's more detail here on the legs, although overall they are very similar, except these stickers on the knees keep popping off. 
The vent section is definitely changed, but it looks like the crotch section, with the exception of maybe just a couple details, and of course the side skirts are fairly similar. So the back skirt goes back to the old school solid back skirt feeling. You don't have the clamp on thing. So this is the major difference between an origin design and an original design, I should say. So, yeah, I dig it. All in all, I mean, I, I, I love these. These are some of my favorite kits that I've done so far. Well, let's see if we can't get this guy into some cool poses. Let's see if we can get him into this prone position on the ground. Then he can shoot. It's like he keeps rocking on the center instead of whatever. Ah! Camera doesn't go any lower. Well, it does, but I have to move the tripod. But you can totally get him in that. The neck pivot does get him way down. And you can really get him into kind of a push-up position. Probably even better. Just got to basically use the legs to make up the difference. There we go. And he can kind of do that number, lay flat and shoot his stuff over there. So that's pretty good. I like him. Now he's like, Grr. now he's a zombie. Or uh, Frankenstein, whatever you want to think. He's just, <laughs> but it's, it's a very nice kit, guys. And, you know, if you catch very cheap, you know, 12, 15 bucks maximum, definitely worth it in my opinion. Although that, that, that is kind of a downside with that hand. Just don't fit as tight. And I think it's just these hands. There must be a smaller ball joint or something. Because they go in and out way easier than the normal fists. Nothing you couldn't fix with the building up the, the actual ball joint itself. And there's no poly cap in there. At least not right at the edge. There's no poly cap. So it just is what it is. It's just a good old... HG kit. Now it could use a little bit of paint. So you could take some favorite dark gray into these little lines in here on the legs. Same thing here. You know, all these little tiny things could definitely use a little bit of paint. Uh, you could definitely do some uh, thruster gold or silver, or whatever you want to do inside all of the things. A little bit of detail work here on the back of the hands with like some silver for that over here on the gun probably. Same thing here on the cannons. He does need a little bit of yellow up here on the Vulcans, but that's just something that's super annoying to try to do. Where's my focus? For some reason at this level it doesn't know how to focus. But either way, it's just a good old kit, guys. But as I'm running out of time, I'll go ahead and wrap things up. So thanks for checking out this review. If you like it, if you like this old school gun cannon, give me a big old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe -ish button right there. If you want to help support the channel, you can do so either by Patreon right here on the screen or in the Shoki shirts. You can do both or either and all of which are in the description down below. But that's it, guys. This is HG Gun Cannon Revive, and I'll catch you on the next review. And remember, as always... To keep on building. <laughs>